Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. And today we are looking at the KN95 Buggy Bop? Buggy? Buggy Bop? I didn't even see that on there. Oh, Buggy Bop. <laughs> buggy Bop. Let's Buggy Bop over to, that's not a verb, uh, the box. Open this up and get it in the clamper and then we'll kind of figure out what's going on. This is neat. Ah, oh, individually packaged. Buggy Bop, guys. You, you're killing the game. Um, oh, come on. Uh, for those frequent viewers of the channel, already know what I'm freaking out about. Um, we only want good clamps. We want solid clamps here. Why is my head so small? All right, my name is Lloyd, and this is the PFE machine that we call Jerry. Uh, and Jerry uh, tests masks for... Uh, <laughs> It up. Uh, Jerry tests masks for uh, particulate filtration efficiency. In fact, if you had an N95 factory, you would want to have one of these uh, in your uh, in your arsenal, which which we do. Figuring you probably don't, um, I'm doing the KN95 test on your behalf to figure out if Buggy Bop is a good mask or not. So uh, this is a KN95 mask we bought on Amazon. It looks super generic, and it's not. Like this is like clearly not the mask that shows up. That's hilarious because this is in like clear packaging. And then what shows up is like branded packaging. And you can see that it says KN95 on the mask, but it's not on the listing. That's kind of annoying to be honest. I don't like when they do generic stuff. Like this is literally like, they might as well call this stock photo KN95 because that's what this is like. So uh, we've got um, the, Zyman Huao Cheng, uh, help me out with the pronunciation in the comments, please. Um, that's the manufacturer, Chinese manufacturer. They've got the uh, the standard on here, the GB2626-2006. Now, I said this is a fake KN95 because the stuff they're putting on, and actually, it has to be on the mask. It has to be on the mask. I just reread the standards. It's like a 57-page document. Um, all the things that they're saying here I would actually give them a pass on this though, because what they need to actually do is print it on the mask. But they're doing it individual packaging, so I feel like it's almost as good. Let's try out the uh, the mask here. Look, it's quality. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that's not great. I don't think it's gonna break on your face. Maybe. Let's do the smell test. Oh, interesting. This mask smells like a day at an uh, indoor aquarium. Yeah, very weird. Not overpowering, better than most, but weird. Where does that smell come from? Not really sure. And I'm wondering how bad the earlips are. No, they're not gonna bring in it. Wait, no, wait. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I, I was obviously playing there, but you shouldn't be able to pull it off your face like that. That's ridiculous. All right, so there's some subjective things in there. Uh, you know, yes, they're not following the standard. Well, does that mean anything? Well, I found about 50% of the time, if they're not following the standard, this machine is also gonna tell us that they're not following the standard in terms of protection. It doesn't protect you. Now, I haven't looked at this. We're gonna look at it together here. Uh, but remember, the, K, the 95 and KN95 means that it needs to filter at 95%. And this machine and this $200,000, $250,000 lab is meant to test that very thing. So. Together, let's look at it. Oh, just right on the money. 95.161, 95. Point, I mean, I mean, biggity, bop boopity. What was the name of this? Buggy bop. Um, okay, I see you. Yeah, I mean, you know, what was the airflow? Holy. So the, uh, we, the airflow resistance, which is a measure of breathability, was 197 pascals. That's not very good. Uh, just for reference, you want to be under 150 pascals if you're going to wear that thing for more than a couple hours. Personally, like uh, that's that's what I like to see. That's in standard, so that's it's passing that standard, but um, it's just from a comfort perspective. I don't think this is too breathable enough. I like that it's individually packaged, to be honest, and the price is really good. Uh, they're like 50 cents a piece, but I think that there are better masks on Amazon that you can buy. And I'm gonna put a link to all the KN95s and all the masks that we've tested so you can find it yourself. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I've appreciated you looking at this. If this helped you, if you decided to buy Buggy Bop because of this video, maybe give me a like if you want to. Mm, if you want to. Actually, don't even care. I'll catch you on the next test.